have the Simplex 277 version with the SP28 coil on it. I've got a little just piece of wire, some iron there. A little bit of uh, just iron. I got a quarter right here at six inches deep. The Simplex smacks this pretty much better than any machine that I have. The Deus, the Equinox, the Amphibio, a bunch of different Simplexes with a bunch of different coils. And the Simplex just seems to really lock on the coins, man. Even in the moderate iron, mild to moderate iron. And there's a lot of iron here. You can hear it. I actually have it in ground balance yet, to tell the truth. Six inch deep clad quarter right here. Field mode. Park one. And what's so amazing about the Simplex is the Simplex hit, hits this in all uh, discrimination modes. Field, Park 1, and Park 2, right? My other machines, only like one, one or two programs hit this in stock programs on those the Equinox and, and, the, uh, and, Fib, or Equinox and this, the, uh, the Deus. It only hits it like in one or two programs, but the Simplex hits this in all programs, right? just spanks it out right that's what i was talking about the simplex just seems to just lock on to these targets man that's park two or park one this is park two take that nail just throw it down there anywhere it landed right there see that It's pulsing on that iron. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna test that right here. Oh, that's, that's above some other targets there. That piece of wire is, is pulsing on the wire. I'll put it over here. Just iron that way. See what it sounds like, just alone. Just iron. No, put, put that nail there. It's pulsing on it, right? Here's that quarter right here again. Six inch deep cloud quarter. I'll put that right here. See if I can hit it right down the barrel. Park two, full game. It's pulsing on the iron right there. It's hitting that right there, but I'm, I'm not very close to that target there. I mean, I can, I can put it a little bit closer. It will not hit it. Nope, not hitting it. It'll hit that nail though. But don't let this depress you, right? You just keep, gotta keep on moving on. Don't let this video depress you. Keep on digging. I usually don't try to dig out nails um, unless I first get to a site. When I first get to a site and I hear a bunch of iron and I get a high tone like that right there, I'm gonna dig it up and see what kind of iron it is. You know, if it's a square nail or if it's a common nail or if it's a little bit of iron, a little bit of wire or something, or you know, whatever it is. I wanna see what kind of iron there is in the site so when I know I know what to de detect or to use. <laughs> Cause I usually use the Simplex first, right? Cause the Simplex performs so well. And I, I've been talking about that lately. I have a lot of videos of the Simplex just um, slaughtering my other detectors. Right, and that's the same thing. When you when you get out the field, it's a whole different ball game than test gardens. But out in the field, the Simplex does the same thing. It slaughters my other machines. Um, maybe not in the heavy, thick iron. Like when there's a whole bunch of these around, you know, my Deus will not false on this right here. You set up a Deus right, and it will not false on this iron right here. Um, but the Simplex just does. You know, on those those square head nails, um, and those common nails, it falses really bad on those nails. But you can get through those nails if you just work it. Just work it really slow. Go, just, just wiggle wiggle through that iron. Get in between the iron and you'll start pulling up some targets there. Um, because if there's this kind of stuff, if you find a, a, a patch of this kind of stuff, there's relics in there. And there's probably gonna be some coins, some Wheaties or something. That's, that's, my, that's my theory, you know? And my theory is correct, actually. It's a fact. Around iron, you're going to find relics, and you're going to find non-ferrous items around iron, like in a 
patch of this kind of stuff or a patch of square nails, you're gonna find relics. You know, it's, it's just bound to happen. You know, and if you haven't detected for very long um, and you know where some iron is at and you have a simplex, go there and it just might surprise you, man. You, it might surprise you that the simplex can get through this stuff. Not nearly as good as some other machines, but the simplex can still get through this stuff. I have a lot of videos with the simplex in mild to moderate iron and it's still plucking the deeper targets out five, six, seven inches deep. Seven inches deep is pushing it, you know, but full gain. I just run my simplex at full gain all the time because like I've been saying in the past, if there's iron on the surface or if there's iron within a couple inches deep, you still want to run your gain at full because you want to still be going deep. You're going to get those iron falsings no matter what gain you have. If you're trying to get coins at three inches deep and there's this stuff at three inches deep, you're still going to get this falsing if you're lower gain, right? Because those that the coins and the iron are at the same depth. So if there's a bunch of iron nails on the surface and you want to drop your gain down to get through some of the iron, it, it doesn't work like that. You got to have your, your, your gain up as high as you can because you're still gonna hear that iron, right? The iron is still gonna false no matter what sensitive you have on with the simplex. With the other machines, not so much. Like with the Deus, um, I, I usually have my, my Deus in the, in the 90s or so, sometimes in the 80s. But with the size of coils nowadays, um, all the detectors, with the size of coils, it's actually the, the bigger coil that you use, the better they perform in the iron. It's just amazing. Back in the back in the days when we had analog machines or you know the the uh, the older machines, the smaller coils perform better in the iron. But now that they have these new digital machines, you know, it seems like the bigger coils are outperforming the smaller coils that we had before on the older machines. And the smaller coils don't really perform very well in the iron. <laughs> Even with the simplex, you know, I don't, I really don't prefer the simplex working in iron anyway, but um, because there's other machines out there that you can dial in, uh, dial in to sites that have a lot of iron and you can just get so much more out of the ground. And in clean ground though, in clean ground though, the simplex spanks the doors off my other detectors. You can just get so many more targets out, man, with the simplex because they're so evident. The coin targets, you saw that, the, that quarter was so evident, man, in the iron. But once I put this iron right next to it, you know, it struggled a lot. And all my detectors, I can put most of my detectors, you know, the Equinox won't hit that with the iron being that close. The Deus will, just barely. But um, the Simplex can get through this stuff. It really can. If you just have a little patience and learn learn those tones, you you might um, prefer the, the, uh, the, the SP24 or SP22 coil in iron, and you might have a lot different results than me because I have hot soil. But the Simplex can still get through this stuff. It's just, you're gonna have a lot um, less um, target recoveries, good re target recoveries that are good um, with the Simplex rather than the Equinox or the Deus because it's just an entry level machine, right? You can't, can't dial it in. Um, there's just not too much you can do to um, make the t machine perform better than just stock, right? With the other machines, you know, there's all those modes and um, all the settings, you know, that you can really just fine tune the machine. Um, like the Amphibio, you can fine tune the Amphibio um, just in small little increments and uh, really get through that iron. Um, unlike the Simplex, you know, the, the gain is just not very adjustable. Um, you don't have tone breaks. You don't have a recovery speed. But the Simplex just still seems to get more targets out, man. It's just amazing. Uh, if you just work the iron a little bit, you know, get used to that iron tone um, in the background, um, those targets will start popping out. A little bit of experience, you know, just a couple hundred hours in some iron and with any machine, you know, even the older machines, you know, once you start working the iron, you'll learn what to listen for. Um, you, you can kind of reject those, those uh, that this falsing on the iron just reject that by ear, not discriminate on it. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.